What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an achievement walkthrough for Bleeding Edge. This game released onto the Xbox One March 24, 2020 for a price of $29.99. But of course it's also an Xbox Game Pass so if you have that you can play it for free. Um, this game is actually a pretty easy completion, it doesn't take that long, there's only 10 achievements. The trackers actually work in this game too. You have to play all the tutorials, which is good to do anyway so you can learn how to play the game. But uh, you actually don't have to play all the tutorials. You don't have to do the advanced. Like if you see at the top left, you just have to do the three out of four. After doing that, we can go and get some other achievements before even starting the game. We can uh, go to the workshop and we can make a new mod build. And also we can equip the new board and we'll get both of these achievements. Go into the workshop, pick a character and then go to mods and then just click on any three mods and put them into the build on the right side. And then you'll get that achievement for making a new mod build. And it will make your character better anyway, so you want to do that. And then just go to boards, and over here we can just equip the new board. And we'll get that achievement. So for the rest of these achievements, uh, we got to win a match. You actually only need to win one match for the achievements. You can lose all the matches and still get all the other achievements. <laughs> uh, we have to play 10 online matches. You have to capture 50 objectives. There's two different modes. One, you have to capture objectives. And the other one, you have to pick up energy cells and then drop them off. And uh, you get an achievement for dropping off 100 of them. This one's a little harder, but it's not too bad. A lot of the time, um, everyone else is distracted or they're somewhere else. So you can just go and drop them off. And there's more than one place to drop them off. Deal 200,000 damage. Um, the trackers actually work. And you have to deal 200,000 damage and you have to heal 200,000 damage. There's a couple heal guys that are really good to use. Um, and then you have to get 50 kills. For this achievement, you actually have to do it in one sitting. Um, for some reason, this uh, resets every time you quit out the game. So if you want to get this achievement and this completion, you have to sit there and just do 50 kills in one sitting. It's not too bad, and I'm going to give you some tips to help you. Alright, so let's get into this game a little bit. If you don't know about this game, it's an online-only team battle match. It's four versus four. And uh, like I said, there's two different modes. There's the objective, and there's also um, the energy cells. And it picks them at random, so whatever you get is what you get. There's all different characters that you can pick. At the top is the damage characters. Uh, the middle is support, the healers, and then the bottom is the tank. I like this guy a lot for the damage. He's really good. He can go into stealth mode. He's also really good for the energy cells. For healing, I like the snake guy. I used him a lot, but he doesn't really heal that good. I thought he did, but it took forever to get that achievement. Um, I didn't really use this healer at all, to be honest. Uh, but Zero Cool, this healer, this is my favorite character. I actually used him the most, and I did everything with him. I did uh, healing, I did uh, damage, and I also got my 50 kills with him. He's my favorite character, and I'm going to go into him a little bit more and uh, give you some tips. But uh, yeah, even the snake guy's cool. Um, the tanks are good if you're good with them. I was pretty bad with them, but um, they can take a lot of damage and you know You can get a lot of kills with them if you're good with them a lot of people use buttercup and she's kind of OP But um, like I said zero cool. That's my person uh, This guy he jumps really high. He can heal other people. He can't really heal himself He heals when you walk away, but he's got pretty long range, which is good and uh, he doesn't reload he just keeps shooting, so you can kind of steal people's kills kind of easily. Um, but yeah, you can go around, you can heal other people, and uh, you know, save your team, and uh, they'll help you, you know, take the health down to people, and then you can get the final shot and uh, get some kills in. But also, he heals really good, like he heals their health all the way up um, pretty quickly, so the healing bar goes up a lot more when you use him. And uh, he does a lot of damage too. So you can get all the achievements with this guy. But you can use whoever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, I just got my 50 kills achievement. That was my last one. Which like I said you have to do in one sitting. Which means you can't close the game. You can leave it on the main menu. Go do what you want to do and then come back. But just do not quit out the game. Or else it will reset the tracker. And you have to get 50 kills again. It didn't take that long though. And it was a lot of fun playing this game. I actually enjoyed this game a lot. Um... It is better if you play with people or if you're, you know, know how to play with your team. I actually played with randoms the whole time. I just stuck close by them or I just went for the objectives myself and we did pretty good. I hope they add more achievements and more DLC for this game because it's great. 
But that's going to be it, guys. I just wanted to go over this game quickly. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. Oh.